before going through the discussion we have to understand what is a normal menstrual cycle so it's a series of natural changes in hormone production and structure of uterus and ovary which starts at menarche and ends in menopause it consists of two parts the ovarian cycle where the egg development happens and uh, it controls the production and release of ovum it has two parts the follicular phase and the luteal phase the uterine cycle it deals with preparation and maintenance of the lining of the uterus and to receive an embryo uterine cycle has phase the menstrual phase where the bleeding takes place the proliferative phase and the secretory phase so any problem happening in any cycle whether be it ovarian cycle or uterine cycle it is manifestation it, it is manifested as a disorder in the menstrual phase so the normal menstrual cycle typically lasts from 25 to 35 days it varies from person to person so we come to an average of 28 days that is how commonly in the population it is termed as men it's a monthly cycle because the average is 28 however if a, if any person is having a cycle of 25 days or 30, 35 days it is not considered as abnormal the flow generally lasts from 3 to 7 days and the average blood loss per cycle is 80 ml what is menorrhagia menorrhagia is the term used for excessive menstrual blood loss which interferes with women's physical emotional social and material quality of life which can occur alone or in combination with other symptoms this definition of menorrhagia is given by nice it is also called as hypermenorrhea in the reproductive age group around 50 to 20% of the female experiences menorrhagia at some point of their life now dysfunctional uterine bleeding was a very common term used previous it used, it was used to define any type of menorrhagia or abnormal uterine bleeding which was not cyclical or if it was cyclical if there was more bleeding so menorrhagia as we have defined earlier it lasts generally it a menstrual bleeding which lasts more than 8 to 10 days and the average blood loss in the menstrual cycle is more than 80 ml per hour and this ex excessive bleeding can lead to anemia variant of menorrhagia or dysfunctional uterine bleeding are metrorrhagia in which the bleeding happens in between the cyclical periods or polymenorrhea where the cycle length is reduced that also amount to increased blood loss in the body